Skull Man back at you once again. We're going to be reviewing the Ric Flair Signature Series belt that is now not available on WWE Shop anymore. I've had this belt for quite some time. So let's get into this video, this review, right now. So it has an interesting strap that it comes on. It's a blue strap. It has the Nature Boy Ric Flair written on it. 16 time World Heavyweight Championship. The side plates, look at the World Championships that he has won from 1981. All the way up until 2000. And it shows the date and the city that he won these championships in. The plates on these are not a shiny style plate. The jewels in there are good. I am not sure, but I believe that they are Swarovski's jewels, which they do look good in the light. This is the other side of this strap. It's one of Ric Flair's famous sayings, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. And damn it, in my opinion, he was the man. So as I always do, we're gonna take a look at the thickness of the plates. Let's get some up close looks at the details of this plate. This is his name plate. The floor designs look good with a, I would call it a dull mirror finish on the back. There's your crown. There's your globe. There is no Logo, just the floor design on the top. And on this particular belt, the screws are uncovered. There are a lot of uh, rivets that runs the length of the belt. This here is your signature series gold patch that came with this belt. It has uh, 16 male snaps, 16 female snaps, uh, and of course, you know, the shop leather, so it's not floppy, but to me, this belt is made more of being a uh, display piece, and if you have this belt, lucky enough to have gotten it. Feel like you got yourself something. I think it's a beautiful belt. I think the one that's on shop now. I like it also. And I'm really leaning towards getting that. So hopefully I'll be doing a video on that particular belt soon. Just giving you all uh, more looks at your your main plate here, which is a it's a very beautifully done belt, in my opinion. So just throwing in one of the statues that they used to have of Rick on WWE Shop. I don't think that is available either. Got a pair of Ed sunglasses and. This came from Crockett Productions. And on Ric Flair, we don't even know if that is even his last match. Hopefully, for the for him it will be. But if you like this video, click like, tell somebody, and subscribe to my page. Thank you for watching.